Hi everybody and welcome to another After Effects tutorial. My name is Aton and today I'll be showing you how to make the moon. So let's get started. Jump into a new comp. Now the first thing you should do is create a new solid. This solid should just be the size of your comp and look for fractal noise. So just drag that on there and so now we're going to leave all the settings exactly how they are for now and make sure you're not selecting this layer make sure you just clicked on nothing and then go down for where it says rectangle tool click on it and drag down to the ellipse tool and now make a shape sort of like the size of your moon now we're going to use this this shape layer as the track mat for this so click alpha mat shape layer one and now, voila, we have the moon. And right now I'm at a quarter of the quality, but full quality, that actually looks pretty moon-ish. So now the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to add an adjustment layer and just add a glow. Now, what you want to do, alpha channel, set to alpha channel, and turn up the radius and the intensity. Yeah, we want a high radius, low intensity, set the blending, the, set the composite original to none, and you can set to maybe screen, and that gives it that nice glow look, sort of like the moon would have. All right. So now if you just want to add a few clouds, I can show you a basic way of how to do that. It's not going to be, they're not going to look perfect, but this is just a very, this is a tutorial for the moon, not the clouds. The clouds are like an added bonus. So, fractal noise, drag that on there. So this is the same thing we used to make the moon. But, and actually, just one thing to make this a little easier, you can just go through and do all that, and that will just hide all these layers so now you just don't have to worry about looking at them they're still there if you want to unpress that it's just now you don't have to worry about them so now you have this I'm gonna name this rename clouds well clouds one okay now right now if I try toggling transparency you can see that these are not at all transparent so before we do anything I'm gonna scale this up a lot so that's looking okay they don't have to like it doesn't matter if they lose a little quality doing this because they are going to be blurred so that doesn't really matter now I'm gonna actually invert it so we have a little more black there to work with and I'm going to go to Luma key I use this a lot because it's really helpful when working with fractal noise you can just sort of key out those darker areas and you can see if I turn this on you're starting to get some holes there now if you feather it out a lot this is gonna be their clouds so you can you don't really have to worry about how much you feather at all they can be just feathered a ton and then move it into like a good area and I sort of like this but I'm just first gonna duplicate this and key out the really bright areas because we don't want it to be like super bright either so but now we're gonna want to turn this up so basically we're only keeping like the mid areas by doing this can it actually set edge then to like negative one Yeah, there aren't as many really bright spots, so maybe we don't have to worry about this. But in my last example that I was working on, it did need it. So now what I'm going to do, make sure you are selecting this layer this time. And take the pen tool and just get a basic area around an area that looks pretty good. Now I like this, so I'm going to hit F and sort of feather that 
not quite that much. Okay, that's pretty good. I'm going to drag these clouds, like, sort of over here. Now just duplicate this. Now you can sort of, like, change the way it's facing. So move that. Up and down. I want to just give it some variety. You can change the mask shape a little bit. And try. Oh. The mask shape won't work though if it's out of the comp area. You can just make some interesting shapes. Add that down there. I'm going to just take that original, duplicate that. Move that sort of over here. We can also change the evolution. So these clouds don't look super realistic, but they will pass for like a basic a graphic design job type thing, but they're not they're not perfect. Duplicate that. Maybe rotate it. I'm hitting W right now and using the rotation tool and then we have sorted that and you can keyframe those to move across you can also say you want to pre-compose all these call it clouds and now I'm just gonna unhide these duplicate it and make it a 3d layer and move it back in 3d space and have it you can also have like a couple layers of that so they're different layers of clouds like scale it up but have it backwards in z space you can just have lots of really cool effects the more layers of clouds you have the more realistic they seem they're not going to seem super realistic at first though if you just leave it like this and another thing you can do is play with some of those settings in that fractal noise because we are right now using the same settings as the clap as the moon i'm sorry so it it'll make it it'll make it better if we change some of those settings but this was really just a basic overview on the clouds this was more a tutorial for the moon so thank you for watching if you liked it please like and subscribe and um i hope you learned something so thank you for watching